Hey y'all. There's a lot going on in the world, but not really, honey. <laughs> I just want to say, if you think that people are your family members, you got to look again, and you got to look again, and you got to look again. Everybody that call themselves family don't necessarily they means that they are your family. You could be born into a fucking family of psychopaths, and because you are addicted or attached to a title, you will sit there and be abused by somebody that's your saying they're your cousin. They could be, but how are they treating you? Somebody saying they're your aunt, they could be, but how are they treating you? Blood is a motherfucker. Children and Family Services is under terrorist attack, been under terrorist attack, been infiltrated, been an epicenter of kidnapping, been what people use inside of these families in order to get retribution on somebody they call themselves being envious of, jealous of, talk to them the wrong way, thinking they about to move up and be successful, thinking their child is this and their child ain't that, and all these weird ass mental games these motherfuckers be having going on. And you do not be knowing all that shit. You just be on some title shit. That's my sister. That's my brother. That's my cousin. That's my mother. That's my father. Okay, but at the end of the day, how are those people treating you? I told my son, stop fucking with these people. They said, leave them alone. Stop going over there. Stop fucking with them. We did that. Get off the PS4. Stop talking to them. They told me out of their own mouth, these gang stalkers was in my family. My sister, her kids, all the motherfuckers that's attached and tied to my son being taken to the point where now they put in an entry. It gets sent to the social worker. It gets sent to the attorney. However, is it really from the judge? My sister been um, copying signatures since she was in the fifth grade. She used to get paid to do parent signatures since the fifth. she was in the fifth grade. Do you think that criminal mind changed? No, the fuck it don't. No, it didn't. She do all kind of shit. She got it out for me. She got it out for my son. I do not know this bitch. I do not know her kids. I do not give a fuck where I'm living at. I'm living here because I got pushed out of where the fuck I was living at. I thought they still lived here. Unbeknownst to me, she been living here for 20 years. All of a sudden, you gonna move to the same city my son is kidnapped in? Richmond Heights, Ohio? The school district in that city, shaky. The police department in it. All these motherfuckers, man. Trying to stop the fall of something that has to fall in order for it to be rebuilt. Fuck your personal preference, bitch. Fuck what you think. Fuck the mind games you done fucked yourself with. And their plans is to ship them somewhere else where the parent has no contact, no nothing. So if y'all got children in these situations, they're going to have to fight for their right to stay alive. There's nothing for you to do but go to the penitentiary. That's what they want you to do. They don't want to kill you because it'll open up the case. So they want you to do something that you would do because it's your nature as a mother to want to snatch the heart off of a motherfucker that's doing something to your child. Lying on you, doing all this old bullshit. You can't talk to the social workers. You can't talk to nobody at family and job services if they are not in it. They walked into something that was already in motion. And they plan on killing some social workers after a while if they get hungry enough. Just on some saying it without saying it uh, negotiation type shit. What you gonna give us for these kids? And it, it, it goes from there. The social worker can't hear. Every time I ask can she, she come up with the two of swords. She can't hear. And you can tell when they can't hear. So when they surprised that she'd be coming out. My mother told me, keep it tight. Be careful with that shit. And I knew that wasn't right. So I allowed my son to come in an unsafe, weird-ass environment just by the neighborhood alone with the gun violence that was going on. Okay, I'm going to be obedient to my mother, but I'm also going to take an opportunity for my son because we was living in suburbs. I'm going to take an opportunity for my son to learn how to fight amidst devils. Because if he with me, he ain't going to know how to fight.
Because I'm going to make sure he ain't got nothing to do with that shit. But since this shit exists and it's around me and I'm trying to be obedient to my mother and see what she's talking about, son, you better learn these motherfuckers and you better fight these motherfuckers and you better do what you got to do. And don't fall for the okie dokie and the whoop dee woo. You came out of me. And guess what? Everybody that she got, she either put them in jail or they with her. Even if it's one left, the bitch got control over her kids that's in prison. She even out of control. What she gonna say? What my son gonna do? And what she gonna get for him? Kind of bitch. To go along with a wagged out baby father that had been told me he was gonna get him put sold off into foster care, because I wouldn't be with him, and he about to go savage. Motherfucking detectives don't even see that that's his name on these platforms. Amir, that's my son's middle name. Savage. Look up the word savage. It's an animal. That's a beast. That's somebody that cannot be controlled or contained. And he said that's what he was doing. And he planned it. And he did it. And he doing it. And he gonna keep doing it. It's no motherfucking. You can't, you can't underestimate nobody's evil. Just like you can't underestimate the God in somebody. Ohio don't even recognize they stay at 39 degrees. And they motherfucking gas stay at 309. Do you not think he is not a, he is an enemy to the state of Ohio? I know that. But Ohio won't listen because they underestimate niggas. His mom and a fame, bitch. Do you know what a motherfucker would do? A raunchy, terrible, trifling motherfucker that's going to tell you that's what they're going to do? And that's the only thing that can keep their word on kind of shit? Because definitely can't keep their word on that child support and being there and being a father and a protector and all that other shit that real men is supposed to do. But when it comes to dumb shit, ruining you, tearing up shit, lying, kidnapping, murder, rape, bestiality, drug abuse, violence, all that shit, they got that down pat, gonna keep their word on it, gonna execute and everything else. You don't think I told my son about all these motherfuckers? Use a motherfucking lie. But I ain't into bashing motherfuckers and I ain't into keep talking either. How do I treat you? How do they treat you? When do you get a whooping? When I lie? When you tell the truth, do you get a whooping? No. Do you see what I'm saying? They putting their hands on you every chance they get for what you telling me. So you better learn how to fight these motherfuckers back because they ain't your cousins. They ain't your brother. They ain't nothing to you, bro. They don't like you. They think you think you better. But you down here and in the suburbs. They don't like that. They don't like you. I told them, don't get comfortable in these motherfucking fosters. It's some bullshit. Stanky booty ass Kojic motherfuckers. I don't know these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers is cults filled with perverts because they act holy. But when you act holy and you try to subdue something that you really want to do, you become a motherfucking pedophile. And you will fuck a dog after a while. Because you try to put the appearance of godliness on, but you dirty and filthy as a motherfucker and keep trying to ignore it till it overtake your motherfucking ass and you get off into some gangster shit. That's how. Motherfuckers hearing is like underwater. Everybody's an actor. Can't nobody do nothing for you. If they ain't coming on a, like coming at an angle outside of the justice system on some they acting as an attorney but never been to law school, honey baby, they ain't talk about shit. If they a lawyer, they ain't talk about shit. They just getting your money because that shit locked and sold and motherfuckers is gonna be in prison about a lie, not the truth. Motherfuckers gonna be kidnapped by the lie, not the truth. But that shit gotta get ran through the justice system. And the justice system got the blood on their hands. Because you can transfer uh, karma and evil and all blood. Yeah, you can. That's what they've been doing. Because when, when God comes to the mothers, they're gonna point at child family services. It ain't the mother. A lot of cases, it's not the mother. The cases that it is, that's it is what it is, right? What it was created for, right? But everything that's coming through there is a lie, most of it. Now today, yeah. Today. 
Because motherfuckers keep falling for the appearance of godliness, but denying the power thereof, which is their own inner unction and gut to say something ain't right with these motherfuckers. Let me keep an eye on these motherfuckers. Let me do when they do diligence. Stop getting this shit that you're not purpose for, or you don't understand your purpose and don't realize you walking in it, but you ain't doing shit with it. So you become an accomplice as far as God is concerned, and he don't want to hear it. Kind of shit. Because you ain't blessed when you ain't found doing it. You just going along, just like the rest of the social workers that could have gave up, be a part of it, got money on it. This shit been going on, bro. Mm-hmm. Putting women outside just to take them like a bitch in Brazil was doing. Nutty than a motherfucker and think they right and exact. That's what makes it really dangerous. Mm-hmm. Instead of getting more, you know, they get money. Mm-hmm. They, they got their eye on somebody's child and their family or whatever. Yeah. The best among the ones is the ones that run, not the ones that let them take you. Because you in. You got to run. If they try to take you, I don't give a fuck if they talk about family services, whatever. You better get the fuck out of their hands and run your motherfucking ass off. Until the coast is clear like a motherfucker. Because these witches is gunning. And they don't give a fuck. Once you yours, you got to fuck them, lick on them, do whatever to them. All kind of shit. And their plans is to either kill the social worker or bring them in on it to make you a pedophile or whatever else. That they own. What makes you an enemy is when you're trying to go for a family. The original. Man, woman, child. You instantly an enemy to these nasty motherfucking freaks. Because they lost in the sauce, bro. And the only control they got is other people's property. These hoes. Terrible. Terrible. Stealing while they sleep. Y'all better let them sleep with you. They can't got mine in a broad daylight. They already knew what it was. Mm-hmm. Restricted movement. Maybe the government is doing something about it. I don't know. Because they show sending shit, doing shit like they the judges, this and that. I'm like, why her signature like that? That ain't, that don't look like no, you know what I'm saying? It looked p copied and pasted. Like they took the judge name from something and, and they know they got internal shit. You can Google anything. You can, they took the docu, the original document and just add on to the dates and shit that's happening. They know, they surveillance in it too. Take a copy and paste a judge motherfucking signature, put it on the paperwork, put it in as an entry, it comes to an attorney, it comes to a social worker. Hell, you know what I'm saying? They keep going like it's legit. And it's a whole ass situation, bro. Put your money in on it. Put your money in on it. Whoever you around, it does not matter. These motherfuckers is lurking like a motherfucker. And a walk off like they ain't seen you and your family or they don't got nothing to do with it if you know them. Scoping out children. Yeah, it is heartbreaking to you motherfuckers is doing this nasty ass shit. Because y'all motherfuckers got in the bed with devils. And I don't even think they understand how bad they done got themselves in the situation. For real. Right there. The devil got y'all children. Yes. If they own them computers, check in. I'm telling you. They going after this. You an enemy. They putting money in on it. In order to get them abducted, to make it a negotiation piece of some weird ass shit they done seen in a motherfucking movie that they thought that shit was going to work. Some corny ass motherfucking shit. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. And when they get a kid's money, that's further like they feeling like they want to be in it. Like you have them, you stupid bitch. And they'll put it like it's allowance. But they fucking with their psychology in the worst way. Like the worst type of motherfuckers. For real, because for what they do know... Is that everyday people like you and I ain't falling for that shit. That's why these cowards go get kids. They nasty as fuck. Mm-hmm. Nasty. Put y'all girls on all kind of different weird ass shit. Or got plans on them. Hey, man, it's fucked up. All over the world. But what these motherfuckers don't know is that America sits like this. You see how that's on the cross? America sits on the cross. So they can cut them off at all points. They really can. 
So they play themselves because they're not going to win. It doesn't matter what you do, how you hurt people, even if you kill some, it doesn't matter. You're still not going to win in the grand scheme of the whole terrible ass idea that they came up with. And some of them know that. It's what the irony is, that bitch used to act like Cleo and set it off. You know, like she gonna pop her last cigarette because she already know where she going kind of shit. All these weird ass hoes. Devils. Men too. Coming after children that they think are stars. Yeah, putting a bag over their head. Y'all better watch these motherfuckers. All that shit people talk out there about, man, da 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 I want you to keep that same energy, but don't go penitentiary. Because you will really be fucked up then, and you can't you can't get a pin on these motherfuckers. Don't go dumb. I'll get locked up about man, no. Die, kill the right way, but not in a way where it'll get you trapped up and wrapped up in the courts, because it ain't in the court's hands. They fucked up. They lost control. So die, yeah. If you have to defend yourself and you can get away without the law being called and barred, hell yeah. Other than that, don't get wrapped up in that motherfucking court because that's where the fuck the hell that shit is, is fucked up. It's fucked up, I'm telling you. They had a terrorist attack. They just don't want to say that. They want to, because they under, they spell work, they fucked up. You know, motherfucker that wasn't prayed up. Motherfucker that wasn't in tune enough. Motherfucker thought it was sweet. Motherfucker thought that they can just keep going to work and doing this and doing that. And steadily walking farther and farther into their motherfucking traps. Even the person that they got is a man, is a white man in Ohio that, you know, that they said was a part of the, um, going to Washington, storming the, um, the Capitol and going into the White House, wherever that was at. Honey, let me tell you this. The state Capitol storming in there. Honey, let me tell you this. I did it. The pop on him, he was a, he a preacher. He is a minister. He, I mean, if you hear all this shit going on, he a gangster for real. Because he recognized in hell, if all of my congregation or people are coming to tell me this shit, he in a small ass town in Ohio I never even heard of. So that's really like, oh, they ain't about to trap us in these backwoods, back areas where we don't know. Yeah, when we got control over it, it is peaceful. But they coming in. They coming from out of inland, coming out towards the highways and the byways with this shit. Kidnapping kids, all this shit. The shit they was doing in Texas. Just going on people's porch, taking their shit, going that motherfuckers had to start sitting on their porch with their gun so they wouldn't come in their house. And some of them got ran out of them. They been doing this shit. What you mean don't go to the Capitol? What you mean I ain't writing exact? This is my congregation. This is my sheep. I'm the good shepherd. I'm not no wicked ass husband, man. I'm about to go handle this business and see what the fuck is up. He right and exact. What the fuck he wrong guy? Motherfucker like pretty. Oh, they messing up the furniture kind of shit. Fuck that shit. How much you love your children while you talk all that bullshit? Some people in it for real. They ain't on that bullshit. Give a fuck about a capital or nothing else. This my lineage. This my seed. This my sheep. This what the fuck I done been. Goddamn God done put me over. For real, they own it. When you get on it, you get arrested. If Trump was if Trump would be locked up, Trump would be like this. If he really complied, pay attention. They done accuse him of all kind of shit. Biden too. They looking for a way to say this and that. Pay attention. And they, they, these motherfuckers, see, they fucked with them old heads. And then they overthrew the old heads. Now they don't know what the fuck. Now they don't know what the fuck. When they overthrew the old heads, that's what they fucked up at. Because they know more than they stupid ass. These stupid ass queen of wands, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leos, out of fucking control. Wheel of fortunes in reverse. Curse with a curse. And it ain't coming. It ain't, it ain't, ain't no changing it. Uh-uh. It's adding two. That's why that background red. All they can do is add more blood. Because God ain't never heard them. 
And Jesus don't tell God. And so is Prophet Muhammad. You feel me? Ain't no way around it. Even if you want to try to go intermediary, that intermediary gonna tell God what you're doing because you did it like a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all children, some of the children sitting like this in a room somewhere. They just feed them shit. Uh-huh, put stuff in their food, all kind of shit. Weird ass shit. And some mothers is like this. Some mothers is like this. I am too. What else is there to do? Whether you got, what do these bags represent moving from place to place? It don't have to necessarily be money, but material would be considered material, right? A pinnacle is considered material. I'm sitting just like this where I'm at. Do it look like she did something? Do it look like her conscience is guilty? Do it look like they dismantled mothers? They took them when they were stable and then dismantled them from there to make them appear unstable so it'll match up in the paperwork that you didn't meet the qualifications of reunification. And they really bank on people they don't know. They want to destroy your children with theirs. It's a the whole point. If it's a clean slate, they're going to fuck them up. You know? My son had a coach. Where he fucked up is when he didn't run. And I asked him, why didn't you run? You know that was not right. Unmarked vehicle artists and all that. Then you end up in a fucking warehouse. And it did happen fast. Oh, yeah. It was chaotic as a motherfucker. So fast. I ran one way. Jog. He ran another way. They got him so bad that he was running. He split his foot because they had knocked all the glass out of this door. Knocked all my candles down. And then stuck me with a syringe, put me in handcuffs. I'm looking like, what the fuck is going on? So I know it. he out. He out the door. Gone. In this weird ass household with these weird ass bitches and niggas. I don't know these motherfuckers. It's true. And the shit all started up because of the Trump administration. It's all government based. That's why I said the government is under terrorist attack. It is. It don't matter who the fuck is in the seat. What matters is, is that everybody is bound up because y'all allow people to divide and conquer. Through your differences, for real, getting caught up in titles and shit. Not about you loving God, not about the goodness in your heart, none of that shit. It's really good versus evil. What you do for a living does not matter. Are you a good person? That's how they got people. Uh, classism, racism, all that shit. Yeah, man, dirty and a motherfucker, man. Death dealers, bro. And no, you ain't going on the moon. You can't get away. Ain't no damn just selling no tickets to get off of here. No. And who tried that? The two bitches men right now? Bezos and uh, what's his name? Elon? Ain't no going nowhere. You better fight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are they trying to get more? Queen of Cups, Mother Energy. Clarify. I think they are, but they ain't. Some of these motherfuckers want to be mothers and they can't have no babies because they wombs been cursed. Because of this shit. King of Cups, that's by the energy. King of Cups, King of Sword is uh head of the state, you know, presidential energy. On this channel, because this shit real. I ain't got time to be talking about no motherfucking romance. Shit's a diversion attacking a lot of them motherfuckers that's in the field with these weird motherfuckers. They weird too. I told you you an enemy if you go on to the if you want the original family. Man, woman, child. You are a fucking enemy. And it doesn't matter if you're a gay person that don't do that. It doesn't matter. That's what the fuck they doing. Cause they wanted them buy everything. If you a good person, you a good person. It doesn't matter what you put in your ass. It doesn't matter what you put in your vagina. It does not matter. None of that shit matter. If you good at your core, you good at your core. 
understand what the fuck I'm saying. If you would break down with somebody trying to get you to hurt a child, you good at your core, you not on that, so you are consider yourself an enemy. You would be somebody that's more lean towards the original family. God's way. It doesn't matter all that other shit. That's how they get you. Divisiveness, division, labels, titles. The shit you didn't come into this earth with. Five of Cups. Yeah, fucking with the mothers. They're going to be fucking with the mothers. Throw you off. Yeah. Caught you to be sorrowful, all that. Giving up, blah, blah, blah. Phase of black kind of situation. Fuck with your breathing. Fuck with your heart. Fuck with all that shit. Mothers. King of Pentacles. Who is that? Yeah, it's all about money and death. Mm -hmm. Pushing you out so they can get that baby in her arms. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a, I'm pretty sure on a, what they say, the dark web, it's now children and not just organs. The whole person. You feel me? Oh, they done lost their man for sure. justice and they'll say it's justice for them in their crazy minds what they're doing impulsivity hot ride you know just dive in type of motherfuckers weird motherfuckers bro I'm trying to tell you let's get some more tarot type of shit, the type of shit that makes somebody that think they a devil know that they not. You understand? That shit. That shit. The type of motherfucker that think they a devil, but when you hear about this shit, you be saying, what the fuck? type of person saying, I would never do no shit like that for no money. Then that's, you're not with them. Because they would do anything for it. Hackers. Moon bitches. Alligator walk. Roll around their head like a mindset. If it's any nation members watching this, some people have in their minds what is Farad doing. Why would you be worried about Farad? When you're trained to do everything that you need to do. We're gonna do this. So y'all gonna be like, what is she lighting? I understand. But you ain't gonna, you know, gonna test me now too much. Cause it's these motherfuckers' problems. God is the tester. And any other test that God don't do, the universe will. But the, all the extra gonna test me now, I don't fucking think so. That's how a lot of men lost their woman. Testing them too much when you knew that was your woman. Once you know that's your woman, you test her when she with you. Not to see if you wanna be with her.
You gotta know today. Some shit ain't about dating a soulmate. Sometimes when you can't find it, it's because you was meant for one person. And if you don't find that person, you better sit your little tail down. They're gonna come get you if you if it's meant to be like that, because that's how God would have designed it. You understand? All the little miscellaneous, serendipitous, miraculous shit that happened ain't got nothing to do with the natural order of things. That's extra shit. But if you cannot find love, then quit looking for it. And if you feel like you found it in the divine masculine, then why are you still looking for it? Because you're going to keep getting decoys. They're going to keep sending people in. They're gauging how you're feeling, what you're saying. This is what these motherfuckers do because they don't have the type of brains that you have. Everything is Decepticon. Everything is watch, scheme, see what they're going to do in order to see what we're going to do type of shit. Ain't no such thing as meeting somebody randomly anymore. No, that motherfucker was sent. Even if he, he wasn't, you better act like he was if you don't feel no sparks. And he don't come right like you know God want them to come right. And keep it tight with what you got going on in the present. Because they keep tabs on you. If it already happened and you tell it, what difference do a motherfucking make? It's the past. Nothing that can be done about that. And it's true. And it happened like a motherfucker. But what I got going on now, bitch, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. You don't know, need to know who I talked to. You don't need to know what I was doing and where I was going. One day you wasn't watching and I did something because you ain't gone. And y'all been lost control of the reins. So now they trying to get it back, but it's hard because they done dumped off the older people who would know how to correct it, and then by doing that, they would try to get right on the side of God because they'll see they done lost their motherfucking weight. Yeah, debauch. Watch them drinks at them fruity places. Uh-huh, because it's all about the game. Not about the love, what they can gain. Mm-hmm. Still eating off what they sold from me. Mm-hmm. Ain't changed a bit. Ain't shit. They'll say my shit ain't working. Bitch, you stole it. That's why it's not working, you dumbass bitch. It's still gonna work because it's my product and I still use it. And it's gonna work for the good and not for evil. And you mad because you evil and it ain't working for you. <laughs> you ain't no good, bitch. You show eating, working when he's working with that money. Big mama's house. Will of fortune in reverse. They ain't going nowhere with this shit. So they're going to be tearing up the cities. What? Real snake-like, real shark-like. Know the music on Zaws? Because people are getting aware and hip to these motherfuckers. Everybody ain't sleep. So watch these motherfuckers, bro. The devil. Don't go to the hole. Don't go to the prison. Uh uh. You ain't getting out. And you ain't gonna be. A, you ain't gonna be. You have. You ain't gonna be guilty of nothing but protecting your motherfucking self, your children, your life, and everything else. But honey, they gonna find a way. Really archaic slave time with a dungeon twist. Kind of medieval vibes. Mm -hmm. That's a do, sir. Watch them drinks. They know they can't hide, so they try. You know, weasels. Ain't changed. No, they stay away. And then for a long period of time, then they come around. They may even stay away for nine months. Act like they've been out at the state doing this and that. Yeah. Something ain't gonna be right. Keep up y'all antennas. If you see a child that's uncomfortable looking, don't look like them his parents, make a note of that shit. 
say a prayer, do something. Defeat. They was defeated when they started. of this. Mm -hmm. All about a game. Game, 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 game. Money, 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 money. Anybody that got tricked, it was about money. You know, that's what they do. Children love money. And they would justify children loving money as them being right in the exact, being able to still have sex, be pleasurable, do all kind of shit. No conscience. Because in their mind, the children accepted the money. That's what they get, little motherfuckers. All they wanted money. You see what I'm saying? Bitch, you, bitch. You are why generations would come up like that. Look at what you're doing, bitch. You was born first, ho. You're not going to justify using money instead of candy to kidnap children, bitch. <laughs> you see this? Silly motherfuckers, man. The high priest, yeah. Y'all already know detox bath, detox bath. When you detox bath, don't go out to the public. Uh-uh, sit your ass down. Because your chakras are open. Spent just like your pores, you understand? Mm-hmm. And then they'll say, well, her products ain't strong enough to do this. They're not going to work for you. If anything, it makes my end have to work harder. Because I'm good and you're evil. What don't you get, bitch? It's rooted in love. You're going to get what you get. You ain't love and you're not good. you evil and you're bad. This is all about titles. Active like a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Queen of this. Don't like this. Some of y'all was supposed to be the matriarchs in y'all family. Like y'all the chosen one kind of shit. Unbeknownst to you. You might not even be... You may have not even been looking for none of that. No. No. Your family may have seen it in you. For real. So it's attack you? And then nobody tells you that this is what the fuck is gonna happen? Or this is what they're doing? Or none of that shit. But you the one that's supposed to be like... Um, not even the burden, the burden bearer, but the torch holder. The light beat, the light bearer. That's all. But they trying to put your lights out within these families. But some of the people didn't tell you within the family that you was even nominated for the, the matriarch position. Ain't that a bitch? Especially depending on how big y'all families is. Ain't what they say a shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you doing an excellent job and nobody telling you who you is. So you just live life. But they done chose... Oh, this one is on. Just for a motherfucker to turn around and desecrate you and say you ain't shit, you ain't this, you ain't that. And a lot of them motherfuckers is them false ass prophets in y'all family too. You ain't interested in none of that shit. You just chilling, man. So y'all could have had uh, matriarchal mothers. High priest mothers that they killed off too. Cruelty to children. This is all this is. Blood is on the hands, man. Yeah. President know it. The truth is laid bare. Exactly. The truth is laid bare. One thing I know about American justice is it is fast when the truth is laid bare. Judge is not sitting up with all that shit when the truth is right there. That's, that means... The person that they're accusing, they'll watch you or look at your criminal history or look at this, putting the pieces together and see right away. It's no hard work. While they're doing that, interference is happening. Drawing these fucking trials and shit out, all this shit. This shit was supposed to be thrown out. When it's bullshit, I'm telling you, I don't touch the justice system because I don't do shit that's uh, untruthful and if somebody lies on me I get out of it right away 
Because they can see it right there. Somebody used my identity before. I got out of it right away. It wasn't no red tape and this and that. And this time, you're going to get thrown in a hole for going to report that somebody put your motherfucking identity on the line. And they would say, you got to prove that it was you. They said, well, she spit it off like it was you. She said, and the, he said, in the, the heights matched and the, the, the weight matched, so we ran with it. It makes sense. And they remembered who she was. But they looking at me saying, oh, and then I had my license. Like, wow. You see? That ain't how it's going today. It's all chopped and mixed up and screwed up because that's what's in the justice system. This is the justice system. This is all the interference over those that one knife. Another knife and all of them other ones. Truth is plain. It don't take no long time to figure that shit out. Why the fuck y'all think they got all these cold case files? Because motherfuckers been filed and hiding. Throwing plenty of rocks but hiding and putting it on other people. Putting in innocent people in prison and doing all this shit. Innocent people dying. Innocent people sitting right now can barely get off of the couch because they couldn't keep fighting to say, that I didn't do that. It's not true. They lied on me. They just took my baby. I don't know. And then they be working witchcraft on them, so they really be in a tailspin. That's some dirty motherfucking shit. These hoes don't have motherly instincts and get envious of motherfuckers that do. You dirty ass hoes. Do you know how I feel when you really a mother and you really care and your nature rolling up? You don't because you ain't one. You fucking savage. So you don't care how it feels because you don't feel, bitch. You a savage. Fuck a narcissist. Some savages ain't redeemable. A lot of them motherfuckers. A narcissist can see where the fuck he was going wrong, guy. It's sort of a curse for doing that kind of shit. You see? Trap they self in that bullshit because you can't keep doing that. But you never see what happens to the narcissist so people tend to think that ain't nothing going on. You just in hell, everybody doing something to you and ain't nobody doing nothing about it and this ain't never going in kind of shit. They want you there too. Goofy time. Yeah, fight. Exactly. Exactly. <coughs> and people that people gonna know who we got and who ain't. Ain't gonna be no question. When the questions start coming in, you may wanna start getting on a motherfucking good foot. Cause they ain't there to fight with you. They're there to fight against your ass. If they keep on talking just to fill you out, they up under some spell work, they don't know. So just don't even fucking waste the energy. Keep walking. The hacker, watching all the time. Terrorists. And then they did this. It's true. Stop this shit. If you're an alchemist and you use sigils or alchemical symbols, stop putting air with a line through it. Are you trying to kill us? I took the motherfucking line off of that shit. We need plenty of oxygen around this bitch and everything matters. They do shit and you have to see it and correct it. It don't matter who people know you are and think you are. Like, fuck all that. It's changed where you are and it may be changed where somebody else's is. Which will give us more oxygen rather than a fucking line going through and it cut, it, cut us off but don't have a line through fire. That's strange. Hold on, y'all. Now all of a sudden, the temperature is rising like crazy in January. And it was just two degrees, seven. What's the one here telling y'all? It's true. See, 
you, that's why you shouldn't touch other people's inventions because they know what needs to be twerked, tweaked, whatever the fuck. You feel me? Like, don't touch this, nobody else because you will fuck some shit up and think you about to put it on the inventor. Oh, no, the fuck you ain't, bitch. You stole and they seen your motherfucking ass, bitch. People, if people are not, were left alone, this world be gonna took off so fast because people invent stuff every day that ain't to harm nobody. Just healers. Till motherfuckers start coming around, thinking money some motherfucking where, being divisive, being mischief makers, and terrible as fuck. Hold up, y'all. No, they got a line through fire and a line through water. No, they got a they got no line through water. I put a line through water. They got no line through fire. I put a line through fire. They had no line originally and No, it may have been like that, y'all. Hold on, let me look at this. Cause I took a line out of air. Because why the fuck do you got a line in air? I put a line in fire. Because it may have not been one. Earth may be straight. Didn't need a line or no line. You know what I'm saying? Because you always need to be grounded like a motherfucker. Man. Earth definitely need replenishing. But one through air? You know? I put a line through water if it wasn't a line through water. Because what the fuck? That's how you'll flood some shit out, right? Yeah, watch that. Line through that air, especially if you're an alchemist and you work symbols. <coughs> you cutting off your own motherfucking breath. And one of them dumb motherfuckers probably got into uh, a call sciences and changed it a long motherfucking time ago. People just keep on doing that shit. And whatever, we're we running out of motherfucking air. Because everything be everything around this motherfucker. Fucking teachers, weird, bro. I don't even like that card. It's terrible. If I would have picked that card up in the '80s, not so much. Yeah, man, going to prison. They was the school to prison pipeline the whole fucking time. Mhm. Mm the teachers, yes, disgruntled teachers are the inventors of the school to prison pipeline. Get rid of them. There's too many of them. It's come, keep coming year after year. You know who would think like that? A person that's not purposed to be a teacher. Those are that are found in their purpose are blessed. This don't look like you blessed. And coming up with the shit they came up with definitely don't seem like somebody that was born to do that. Seemed like they was just born to make mischief. And they don't know what the fuck they supposed to be doing. Just get off into all kind of shit. Because of the pay grade. I did hair for damn near 27, 30, 27 years to be exact licensed. But if you want to say without license, 30 years. And my pay, pay didn't change until I left hair. It didn't go up. I was at $28,000 before children. I had my son until I was 34. I started doing hair at 17. When I, would, when I would raise prices, I would raise prices maybe like every five years, but it would be like $5. And then I start doing it like every year, but only $5. Because that's what I love to do. And I didn't want to do it if I didn't love it no more. Because I already knew I'm not going to do my best. And I'm going to try to raise the price because I'm getting sick of this. I saw people do it all around me and all kind of shit they was into Fear kept me in that industry because I didn't know how to make spirituality a professional career. However, when I went into my main subject, which is what I was born to do, my purpose, not a branch. Hair was a branch in a brainstorm, if you will. Instantly shot up. Clearly, it alerted some niggas, but why? It was only like $10,000.
and I've been making $28,000 for damn near 27 years. Check out the taxes, bitch, since you so hacking. So motherfuckers see a $10,000 hike in your yearly salary and lose their motherfucking mind, and that was only $38,000. Oh, she's going somewhere. Let's get her. Do you see this shark shit where I live at? When you coming up on the blackity black, black, black hand side? Literally watching your money grow. And you're doing it legal, bitch. Street justice is street justice. If I ain't in the street, you ain't supposed to be able to touch me, bitch. Oh, so y'all going there. Oh, so you bringing a white man to the street. So you want him to know what's going on. That's what you're saying? You gotta be, bitch. Because the only motherfuckers that's supposed to get touched like that is the motherfuckers that be in the street. And they working on stopping that shit. Because children should have been off the fucking record. Not even an option. I'm dealing with you. Oh, well, your child won't have a father. He's better off. Kind of shit. They fucking with people that don't fuck with the streets. Just because I keep my ear to them, just because I have a public career, just because my clients may be in them, that don't mean a motherfucking thing. I ain't. The fuck? Selling mothers, yeah. Like you a rock star, this and that, that, that. So they they tie that up to your child being that. If your child don't have a platform and you do, they'll come get your child because of your platform. They see you as the rock star. So your child got to have rock star quality. It's kind of motherfucker. Watching y'all money grow. Uh, excuse me. Either way, 10 racks, y'all. And I was celebrating myself in my house. Cook my son some dinner. <laughs> he didn't know what we were celebrating, but damn, bro. I broke through. I've been doing this shit because you, you cannot show gains because there's no gains to show when you're an entrepreneur. Mm-mm. You, you, what you get is what you get. Most is losses because you're always spending out for your business. But that don't mean because I'm spending out for my business, that business money, I can't go get some motherfucking food. I can't take some of that and put it towards my home and what it needs. Hello, somebody. You gotta know how to work your program. That's all. And you're doing nothing illegal. Works. Exactly. You don't know how it works. They don't know how it works. And these motherfuckers will say, I was thinking about celebrities coming to get, I ain't thinking about a motherfucker thing coming to do nothing. Yeah, I deserve pay like a motherfucker, but bitch, I still got to keep my eye on where I'm at right now. Literally, these motherfuckers watching $10,000. Now that you about to get locked up because my salary that I worked on as an entrepreneur, ain't no motherfucking boss nowhere doing a motherfucking thing for me. I got to do it. I got to keep track of my clients, what I ain't doing, what's coming in, what ain't coming in, what I need to do to make sure that it reads at the end of this tax season. And then I got to give myself a raise because that is a thing. But when you in it, you ain't no raise nowhere. You're going to make it work whatever you're receiving from that business. It could appear that you got money all day long. No, you know how to work money. Okay, damn, we didn't get a $10,000 raise, y'all. I did it. Ooh, I'm tired. Okay, let's eat. Kind of shit. That's me and my child. Who I'm doing it for. Year after that, maybe another 58, 48, may go up 20. That's me. They literally shit it on it. The dancer. I do not know. I do not care. I don't get my money that way. Maybe strippers do, but they watching y'all asses too. You see? When they see stability really coming together. They was trying to figure out how I was doing it. 
by making $28,000 on taxes, they don't understand losses. The losses is going to be looking love a lie. But some of them losses was also, who the fuck says that because, let's just say I buy 10 paper towel rolls for my salon. You don't think I can take two of them bitches and put them in my house? I'm going to get penalized from the IRS for that? No the fuck I'm not. Hello? If anything, you should have been able to write off your fucking house even. Because shit, you're seeing your business more than your motherfucking house. And you really just paying for an extra space if you don't live in your business. That's why a lot of Asians do. And you sacrifice. You don't go where everybody go. You can't travel when everybody travel. You can't do what everybody else is doing. Because you're securing this with that. I'd rather have somewhere to stay and then build my salary up so I can leave and go wherever I want to go. But it's a step-by-step -step process when you're doing it the legal way and not this bullshit. They be getting paid 50, 60,000 racks like these motherfuckers stay getting money, but they swear they be looking at your little shit like, and if they see it go up, oh, can't do better than me or, ooh, it's some money over there. Everything is money, bro. I ain't lying with these motherfuckers. And most millionaires and billionaires look at it for strategy and a tool. They look at it as a strategy and a tool. The public pretenders. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, bullshit. Yeah, strife. These stupid ass baby mamas and baby daddies who are not that. They DH. Whatever that was, y'all remember. That. They should be in detention homes like a motherfucker. Like, how you gonna try to fight somebody and you don't even do shit for the child? You gotta be one dumb bitch. If somebody don't want you, they don't want you. What the fuck is you sitting up with all that stupid ass shit for? Because some of y'all, this is what y'all been in for 10, 20, 30 years with these clowns. I told you, when you release... They there looking stupid by themselves. That's what I did, and here he comes. Anyway, still. And then they'll wait you out, sit in a cup for 10 years. kind of shit. And in that time, honey, working with anybody that's in the circus that you in, whether you used to be in a Christian circuit, whether you was in some type of religious circuit, whatever the case may be, they working on your ass. Excuse me for a second. A female is
soon as I um, told y'all what was happening on that Zoom call, that's when my attorney calls me. She don't talk to me. Social worker don't really talk because they be bogged down. For real. But, I mean, that's the job you took. Here comes the entry of permanent custody by the state, which would be them transferring their blood. That's Lisa, the sister. Hey, please, plagiarist galore, or send some shit through. She said, what? I'm about to do this shit. Kind of motherfucker. I don't give a fuck who sends what through an email. You know what the fuck they can do with an email? Where's the hard copy at? They'll say they can't send it to me because I ain't putting no addresses attached to nothing. For what? This is a joke. You're not about to get, you're not about to get me to work with you. No, I am against you and everything that you stand for because it's nothing. It's been real lock. It's been a bad situation. It's been dumbass choices being made. It's been illegal activities done. It ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm not interested and never have I been. The evidence is clear, bitch. On all cameras, on all sites, on all bank receipts, bitch. Everything, bitch. If anything, I've been um, stolen from. My whole goddamn identity, idea, invention, child, money, place to stay, and everything else. And you're about to try to convince me that I ain't shit and I'm watching my money for 27 years never grow on purpose to get a hike of 10K that I worked my ass off to get. And you're going to say, what, bitch? I ain't do it. I ain't do it right. I'm neglectful. Bitch, are you out your fucking mind? Whoever you hoes are all involved. I could smell the thirst when my mother died. Like, this shit curtains. Ain't nobody stupid. And you ain't got to get me to start them. Who is your name, nigga? If you was born for something, you was born for something. Motherfucker love to say that they doing something for you and they did this for you. Then you ain't doing a motherfucking thing for me. Whatever you was doing, you knew you was going to the penitentiary. You didn't do nothing for me. But cause more trauma, more confusion, more bullshit, embarrassment, humiliation. All the shit that come along with the shit y'all do that y'all don't want to stand up like some soldiers but act like you is and say that you did it and gone and lay it down. Whether that's on a bed, a cot, or a grave. It ain't hard. But take your sins, I will not do. We're just trying to show people your art. Kind of weird, motherfuckers, man. But treacherous show enough. Death plot you and everything. You cannot fuck with these motherfuckers, man. So many higher ups looking into this. And if you want to say higher ups is everybody that is gathering Allah's devils so that he can put them in their rightful fucking place. You got dark sides of every organization and group. Keep up. Fraternities, sororities. It doesn't matter. It's a dark side to every organization and group. Within that organization. You think everybody is blessed of the Lord and highly favored? You are out of your fucking mind. They be that. They be trying to paint the two that. Karmic upright. The gin. These are gins. See what it says? The gin. These are gins. Mm-hmm. That's why they don't know how it feels for a mother that's really a mother to... It's kind of like you like this in yourself when it comes to your nature. Try not to pop off because your nature, you see... You can't, a lioness can't not be a lioness about her cubs. 
You can see bears doing it. You think a human ain't shit. You can watch a woman lift some shit up off her child. A bear. And that kind of energy, that's what you've been rapping up with. However long y'all children been gone. If y'all know somebody, that's how long they've been rapping up with it. That's what the fuck been going on within me. It's nature. It ain't no way around it. You can't front like it. it don't bother you. It don't hurt you. It's going to hurt you just by your child not being there and kidnapped. Yeah, all about the Trump administration. It's when this shit went down, man. These teachers made the wrong move, bro. I'm like, where is this shit coming to, coming from? Because y'all got to realize, when you're in the general population and something comes up and it's a lingo that's being used on the news, you know what I'm saying, in conversations, whatever the case may be, who created this shit? They'll always put it on the government. They know people aren't diligent enough. Not even conspiracy theorists. And when you become diligent enough, you end up storming the Capitol and getting put in a fucking hole. To make, made to look like the bad guy. But nobody asked the questions, what the fuck is this? Is this really the government? Or is the government under terrorist attack? Has the government been hijacked? Within the groups and organizations of America or in America. The dark side. Yeah, abundance. They want your abundance. Like what? Yeah, man, doppelganger. Ugh, it's terrible. It's like, ugh. Sorrow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the vibes, ain't it? So much blood, so much blood, so much blood. But the truth is like, bear. Motherfucker gonna be killing they self, razor blading they self. They make got people doing that. You don't even know why you're doing that. These motherfuckers is divisive. You have to get back to your God center, your God nature to know you would never do anything like that to yourself. You would never have these type of weird ass conversations going on. It was a man, I was watching this, Um, I may have shared this, I don't know, but I, it was a man, I think I did, watching, um, no, I was watching this prison show. And basically, they was asking him about the voices in his head. And I guess he had gotten stabilized or whatever, and he was saying what well, the ones now are way more friendlier. You see? <laughs> Which could possibly be angels, ancestors, or whoever. It's just that somebody had a root on him and something to make him just stay in that negative headspace. Cruella. What do you think mental telepathy is? You think somebody could just send you sweet nothings and that's it? Truths. Soon as I posted that, that go through. I'm like, what? I don't have time for this shit. Well, you don't have this, and you don't have that, and you I got all of that. What the fuck is you talking about? I can't help that demonetization on YouTube being hot cold. A whole bunch of people pick it in that shit virtually kind of shit. Valor like a motherfucker. This ain't no sweatshop. Motherfucker just sitting up here all day talking to the general public, giving them information, giving them knowledge, wisdom, and understanding by the grace of Almighty God of law, and don't get no compensation for it. Nah. Then that's how you get YouTube, and the fucking court system lickety splickety along with cash app and all these other motherfuckers they tried it dominion a lot got dominion they were talking about give up the need to be right stop talking about it but you steadily making moves on that checker game so I'm going to keep checking you. The fuck? You never had no million over nothing. I'm sure that. I need a gas company even tripping. And a lobby to see them. Don't you worry about a thing. Yeah. 
Ace of Wands, New Beginnings, After Truth. Some of y'all may be getting y'all children back. Some of y'all, I don't know. I ain't going to tell you I got that, you know. Allah just tells me to trust him, so I do so. So I ain't here to say, oh, there you're going to get everything back. Everything going to be lovely. Like, no. Nah. I don't know. I do know they're going to try to move them, though. But wherever they at, my son in Richmond, they're going to try to move them from there. And that's a clear sign. Indolence. Bunch of alcoholics. Lazy. Bunch. Don't want to do what they weren't purposed to do, of course. They ain't even got in this bitch strong and it's kicking ass, I told y'all. The magic, the magician. I'm trying to figure out how to loop, how to get out of shit. But got the truth to the side. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck you say? <laughs> Corrupt ass police. Into a police? What the fuck is you acting like a magician for? They allow people to pull them out of their shit, offering them fake-ass success. What the fuck you allow somebody to pull you out your purpose? That's stupid as fuck. Like, for real. Especially when you're giving some type of power or authority, like, a police. Oh, they got plenty of room to do dumb shit. But that's the danger, you see what I'm saying? Four to two. They gonna keep fucking with the justice systems and center. Yeah, man. Where you live at? Do it look like this? Where they do the court at? Them old gothic looking buildings and shit. Well, honey, let me tell you something. Four to two. They come up on that four to two. I mean, they keep on pushing it too. That lie. Them lies. These motherfuckers out to lunch, bro. Kind of like being the leaders they always wanted to be, doing what they always. Real stupid. Real stupid. Kitty. This life. This real life right here. This real life right here, straight futility, straight futility. But don't get it twisted and confused because here's the thing. When it's witchcraft, it's lower numbers. When it's higher numbers, it's a law. Bodies start to drop, witchcraft. Masses start to drop, a law. Because that would be a law saying you are not worthy to lead these people. I'm taking my people with me. The body starts to dropping. Death coming threes. Cousin dad. Oh shit. Now my best friend dad. Oh shit. Now this person dad. That's witches. Warlocks. The masses. A law. Not no witch. Not no warlock. Although they don't help with that happening. You understand what I'm saying? Futility with them trying to go anywhere. It seems that's what this is saying. Fake love. Now it's love. Now it's love. Now it's California love. California love. One thirteen on the clock. California. No side of party. Watch that fake love when you get in coffee in the city. City of content. I'm very serious. In the city of good old Watts. Good old Watts. In the city where you get in that coffee. Get in that coffee. Keep it moving when they pull up on you. Let make it shake. Uh. Hey, girl. Now they want to be gay. You see what I'm saying? Honey, please listen to what I'm telling you. You see how you would think you screwed up? And you be saying, man. I'm about to damn near kill my, get myself killed and kill myself. Because I want the dynamic of family, but just with the same sex. I ain't no pervert. 
I actually want to adopt children. Because I realize I'm a man and I cannot have them. But boy, if somebody think they're about to come test the children that I adopted and that God put me over, guess they ask Mr. Postman. Same with women. I ain't no that funny business. Oh, hell no. What I do with my sexual life is my preference, but my moral compass, honey, is on Gay Pride 10. I go to church. We eat dinner together. I ain't no that weird shit. Because it could be possible that that's your twin flame. Yes. For real, y'all know that, that card where it looked like Ellen DeGeneres on it and say, this happened already? Her wife could be her husband. Or that could be, she could be the wife and Ellen could have came as a woman, but the husband. You see where I said it's got to get back tight where you ain't got no room to do that no more because of all of this folly? Not enough. I done let you do kind of shit. So now you just have to come as man and woman. No more of them games, twin flames, kind of shit. Because of the escape artists that try to get out of the purification processes when the soul is being created. Victory! <laughs> These motherfuckers. This is what I'm saying. They always just want it to. It was given the opportunity, some of it, some of them in a straight up and down way. <laughs> Got a degree in it. Okay, leave, motherfucker. But they ain't able to do it the right way. But they just always wanted to do it in the big way. Trying to faking their way to the top. Ain't, ain't, honey, let me tell you, ain't qualified at all. Can put something together, but cannot to finish it. Oh, no. But they feel like they did. At least they touched whatever it is today. <laughs> Princess of Cups, the costume designer. Tupac, what is that about? Oh, yeah, a lot of death. A lot of it. Mm hmm. Caused a lot of death. Mm hmm. Although it seems heaven sent, we ain't ready to see a black president. That ain't no slight on no Obama. That's because people ain't ready for no Obama, not black people. Hello? No. They would have killed Obama. He probably faced death threats by his own more than anything. Hello, the black effect. It don't matter where people are in these organizations. They're going to feel the black effect of any black person that's within those organizations because they do not have the training to reprogram or to deprogram or to get rid of programs that are locked inside of their DNA that's connected to slavery from over 500 years ago. It don't stop your genetics from doing what they do. It don't stop sales from reproducing. It don't stop none of that. You can sit in church all you all you want. You can sit in sorority all you want. You can sit in fraternity all you want. You can sit in a uh, Catholic church all you want. You can sit in the Pentecostal church all you want. You can sit in the storefront. You can sit in the mega church. Wherever there are black people that are descendants from slaves and not coming from no Africa, no born in America, the descendants from slaves that were brought here from the shores of Africa, that shit gonna click clack. It don't matter. That's the black effect. If you don't have what's necessary to handle that, you in motherfucking trouble. Kingdom halls, whatever. It don't matter. I see organizations. Well, it's black people. The gang master. Tupac. Knight of Swords. Gemini Energy. He's sitting right here in front of me. Mm 
Yeah, he over here on his children's healing. Pleasure. Yeah, man, this is stupid as fuck. Oof. I'm so hot and bothered, but not really. Queen of Swords, the painter. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I wanted to explain to y'all. Whatever it is, this is for people that got a lot of gifts and you don't know. But you can't get pigeonholed. I'm telling you. All you got to do is do it like we used to do it in school. And if you don't know because they didn't do that in school, then I'm going to show you. This is what they used to call brainstorming. You can even Google it. It may come up, it may not. Because the teachers is definitely terrorists right now, some of them. Doing that Manzella effect bullshit. So you got to know what you know with some shit. And say, no, nah, this ain't what it is. You know, this a new shit. Hey, line, line, bro. Because I know I did that in real life kind of shit. Let's see if this happens. Yeah. This would be the main subject. So my main subject is spiritual. Why I was born. Spiritualist. Let's just say that. And then these would be the the branches. How I could, you know what they say, multiple streams of income, but it really ain't that. It's just that you need to know what to do with all of these gifts. But it's a main gift that you got that you can use the other gifts that you have as branches. Do you understand what I'm saying? So let's just say the mistake was hair first. I should have went spiritualist first, but I didn't know how to do that because I hadn't experienced the things that I need to experience. So when people get involved in your dreams and your visions and your goals and your aspirations that you have for yourself, then they'll pigeonhole you and what you're good at. But that ain't it for you. I stayed 10 years too long because I didn't know how to make this into a business because they make it so difficult too without you looking like a fraud or a false prophet. You understand? And I ain't no prophet at all. I ain't false either. I'm just highly spiritual being. Always have been. Always will be. Hair was just, you know, now, if spiritualist is my main, and I done did this already, even though I stayed 10 years too long, based on people, not what I knew I did and didn't want to do. Hair would just become a branch if I wanted it to. You feel me? Just like me being able to paint. Okay, that's just a branch. I can, I can open up a salon, and because of... And because of, I can even make paints and sell them with my name on it. Eternal Dragonfly Paint, Colors for Rooms, at Home Depot. I mean, there's no limit to what you can do. You know what I mean? But hair could still be a thing because of the character integrity that I had in that industry. So I can have a salon all day long and the people that will be attracted to that will be because of my character and integrity. But the beneficiaries of that hair salon will be the people that work there. They just got to keep it. You know what I'm saying? Where they also have character and integrity. Then it's, it's, it's ball out time. You feel me? You don't have to throw away nothing. Unless you just don't want to be bothered. Unless I just didn't want to be bothered. You understand? Whatever you're doing, I'm a good writer. I can write books. Okay, that's just a spinoff. By, by me being artsy, I can do tarot cards. Okay, that's another form of income, but I ain't looking at it like that. I'm looking at all these gifts that I need to get out so that I'm in good standing with God when he says I put all of this in you. What did you do to it? Or what did you do with it? This is what I can give back to him to show them that I didn't waste nothing. I pray that makes sense. <laughs> Some of y'all got pigeonholed in something and it ain't all of you. And when you try to do it, I tried to do it. I tried to keep hair in the middle and then put spiritualists and all this out. It didn't work. It didn't work. It kept messing up. I was like, what is this? But it was people. 
that was attached to me. Some not good, some good. But because that's because I was good. Not just that doing hair, but a good person. That's when people realize that good people matter. Everybody ain't a good motherfucker. I knew that. And I would tell my clients that, listen, you need to be found in a second stylist at least. At a certain time, this is what I was saying. Because these motherfuckers don't care about you. They don't give a fuck about you. And I ain't trying to say it when I ain't leaving it. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't shit on nobody. However, a lot of these motherfuckers don't care. I'm telling you straight up. So you need to find somebody to give a fuck. Because everybody don't give a fuck like I give a fuck. I think that helps somebody. Mm. Yeah, they did something, honey. I don't even know, but it ain't right. They fucking with that weather again. It feel like summertime. <laughs> Two. And shoot up to the 50s. That's how they kill a lot of people in Cleveland. Oxygen, mm hmm. Mm hmm. They ain't they shit, man. They ain't shit. They ain't not shit. No, no, no. They act karma like a mother. Happiness hater. Like, what? Carless repo, no car, car issues. A happiness hater. So, watch that. Because they'll do that to repo people. Like what they doing to the SWAT teams. Sending them somewhere and be the Oh, they trying to get people killed for real. Because they're happiness haters. Lacing cocaine with fentanyl. Be careful. Stalkers everywhere. Weird. Look <laughs> at the people under these stickers. What the fuck? They stick of people talking shit. I mean, just how crazy they mind is, is what comes across these cars for real. Up and down. They was just saying, they was just trying to, trying to help, and then this and that, and then, honey, baby, no. Just leave it at evil and go and carry the fuck on, because you don't want to get trapped in that stupid shit. <laughs> so silly. Cock blocking happiness haters. Say be obsessed with people's private parts. Always party. <laughs> so they watch y'all party. And they hate y'all. Be careful with these parties that shoot that motherfucker up. Looking for dirt on or on you or vice versa. Dirt digging. Still, that's what they <laughs> they don't know. They crazy as fuck, man. <laughs> Floyd keep coming out, telling on them, stealing y'all ideas, popping in y'all work, duplicates, feeds off you. Corny, man. They're not creative. Not when it's somebody else's work. You can't be sitting up there. Okay, you co-created with somebody, but you ain't create shit. Ain't nobody created shit. My work, ain't nobody helped me do shit. You came out of my brain with the help of my ancestors. I don't know what these motherfuckers are talking about with y'all, but clearly they're trying to make themselves like they're the originator of it and then dig dirt on you so you can look, you know, they can discredit you. Like, you couldn't come up with nothing like that. That person is crazy. That person is this. That person is that. Look at this. Look at how many times they've been in the hospital. Look at the medication they're on. They're bipolar, schizo, kind of shit. <laughs> Whatever they don't buy, they go looking for more dirt to dig to discredit you and to make them look like the original creators of your platform or whatever it is you create. Clout hungry. Says anything, does anything, makes shit up. Dramatic. They'll say that that's you. But it's them. Rats. Uninterested. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> some of it could be people within the organizations, whether it's religion, it doesn't matter. They get at you because you're not interested. So they get vindictive. Because you won't look at them. You won't talk to them. You won't pay them no attention. You don't want them. Floyd said they definitely fucking with that cocaine. Crack too? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Here you have it. He would know. He would know. Forcer, yeah. Force things on you. Force, I mean, man, listen. It's terrible. If they're a fire sign, honey, and you pick it up, know that you are, what I'm saying is exactly what they are, okay? If it's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, if you pick up rat energy, they ain't no good. They done dropped off the face of the map. They would have came and hollered at you bad now or some shit like that. They gone, don't want nothing to do with you, cut you off so the public can look like they cut you off kind of shit. Honey, let me tell you something. Force things on you, force their way in, rapist vibes. Use this force to get what they want. Weirdos, impulsive, corny as fuck, clout hungry, still ideas, lace drugs, Lace Mountain Dew, do all kind of shit, bro. Like, how the fuck do you got to? So that means any organization, organization they get into, they bring this element with them, and they can have, they can bring their master's degree with them too. What the fuck do that got to do with anything? Happiness hater in the reverse. They don't want to look like that, but that's what the fuck they is. They already got enough shit they working on. They ain't doing that. These these motherfucking imps. They fan shit to get into. I swear. And the haughtiness is ridiculous, but it's a mental issue. Drama starter. That's what they'll say about you because you tell the truth. Truth starts drama to them. Cause hold up, we working on this. Stop telling them that. We ain't ready, we ain't doing that yet. But we are doing this. Kinda of shit. Terrible, bro. And then to say, yeah, you right, moving on. Thank you, next. They're intrigued by tarot, these weird people. But that's how you know they're not purpose for it. They see it as, you know. Hee <laughs> this is fun when she got it. Oh, so, so. stupid as fuck. Yeah. Force their way in the child family services so they can force their way on that little boy. Force their way into your life to take your child. Drama starters. You're the drama starter in their mind because you told what they're, what they're doing or what they did. Like, what? They're going to fight child and family services. Going into it with a whack out perception and perspective. Like, what? Why ain't your name on that building, Dan, bitch? Since you're such a fighter for the cause. Marrying for money. Just picking a bitch up and making her a fake wife and then going to get a child. Cock blocking you so that you can't get your divine masculine to build the life that you should build, which would make people look at you to say, she, why they got her child? She doing good. She wanted her child. Her child wanted. Why she? Why they with with them people? They got a father. She got her, her her man. It's a father in the home. Why? Why? You see? So they cock block. So you can say a single raggedy mother in the Annie role that they presented to these courts. Always partying. Some of them around these children. They don't make it like it's fun, but they be putting shit in the children's drinks to make them lay down and be able to penetrate them, lick on them, have them, all kind of shit. The things they do with animals, they been doing that shit. Having sex with horses, dogs, cats, all kind of shit. An abomination to their parents. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, being haunted by their ancestors like a motherfucker. Memories, fastbacks, trauma, side effects. That's the side effects they get. While the children's side effects is to be discombobulated to be able to, you know, it's just a sick way to get into the psyches of children. But they be haunted. 
Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Took a dirty offer. Yeah, this is how I know the people in my family took a dirty offer to do that to me. Because they're so-called Muslims. So every one of them that took Shahada is in a living hell right now and they're not coming out of it because they took the offer. The thing about Islam is not, it doesn't work like Christianity. Islam works where it's mathematically sound. So it'll get rid of you. You know, nobody has to do it. Islam will do it. You feel me? It's, they say it's a hot fire because it is. Because once you step out of bounds, that you believe that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his messenger. So as you take Shahada, Leha Leha Ilallah, Honey, you saying that there is no God but Allah, but you're doing the opposite of that, and you took the vow, you took jihada, you said, yeah, you did your daily prayers, you practiced, uh, you went to Hajj, you did this, you did that, so those type of people really get dogged out by a lot, like Islam is set up that way, you see that, they was doing magic on me, doing magic, getting in this shit, and on this big ass board, the wax, <sighs> I don't know if y'all can see it, if I do it like this. But the wax, it's a big ass board, y'all. Maybe I can take the picture of it. Or you can see it. Do y'all see that wax up there? Don't it look like the dirty offer card? You see how it's gripping the side of this? This is an Islamic quote, this nutcase put on here. It's the same vibe. My ancestors had me keep looking at it. They tried to come and clean it up. I don't know what the fuck they was doing, but they tell them they sell. You understand? It's the same shit. If I put it like this, you'll be able to see where it matches. What the fuck I'm saying? They took a dirty offer, and that's the card that kept popping up when my ancestors kept guiding me to that or Allah himself. I was like, what? You feel me? Like, that's crazy, crazy. And it's a quote about Ramadan, just hypocrites. And they will taste the hellfire. Because they should they took Shahada. They shouldn't have said they was, the only God, only Allah was God. Only one God. Nothing else to be worshipped. Nothing else can stand near him, around him, or nothing. You realize that it's his creation, and that's it. How hard is it? But they get to doing shit that show that they think that this thing is God, which could be money. Because that's all the fuck they care about. So her kids came over here trying to clean that up. But ends up telling on themselves because they left that. <laughs> I didn't notice it, but I didn't take it off. My mother told me don't touch it. So I didn't. Sitting here yesterday, this car keep coming up. Dirty offer, dirty offer. Say, look, right there. That's what I told you don't touch. That wax. Look, it's the same hand that's on that dirty offer card. They took a dirty offer. You see? I'm like, oh, that's what they were trying to come get and cover up? They was into that shit, but it's wax. They don't really do nothing like that. <clears throat> Not for what I knew. Just go to bath and body and get candles. Just regular, you know? Then it turned into something else. Against me. And against my child. A queen rising, they would see it as. It's like, what? Scarcity tactics. Not Can't be used now. <coughs> yeah, to try to basically fuck with your money. If y'all are survivors, y'all know how to work with money that they was blocking. Blocking your monetization, they blocking this, but you still living? They can't use that no more. They can't use that no more. Because you know how to live regardless. You see? Give yourself a round of applause, for real. Unfadeable, so please don't try to fade me. Moving. Yeah, they don't think they about to move because they feel haunted, but they're going to be very fair. They're not going to be safe anywhere they go because people are going to be hip to wherever they go. It's like having a scarlet letter A on your back. Inside scoop, a closer look, nosy, up in your business. Could be moving closer to y'all. You know, they trying something unorthodox, but it's not going to work. Because some of y'all children are popular. Some of these children are popular. They don't like that. They don't like the attention. They'll, they'll act like they do. They'll try to be this and that, but no, 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 no. Uh -huh. Act like they this? No, they ain't getting no leverage. Ain't nothing shaking in that brain. They just sitting in Indian style with a bowl there and some fake ass shit trying to act like they something that they not. They cowards for real. 
They changed. No, the fuck they didn't. Didn't y'all see that come up in there? So it wasn't no change? It's bullshit. So, exactly. They ain't shit. The people are gonna know that and run them out of places. That's how it's gonna be. I'm trying to tell you. So don't be in them coffee shops. You know what I'm saying? Oh, here we go. I'm trying to tell you. Don't be in them coffee shops acting unfazed. You better be phased in the motherfucker. Because this is where they're going to be at. It came up in reverse. Which means you should get phased. And she drinking coffee like a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Wolves and she, she plowing. Trying to hook you. Yeah, the best thing to do, ignore. Ignore. They keep showing me this. I'm about to get into this, y'all, to see what is this. Because they keep showing me carless. Like, what is that? What are they trying to do? Steal people's cars or something? I want to know what this says. This says on this poster board that she drew up. I'll read it to you. Bismillah, in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. The month of Ramadan is that in which was revealed the Quran, a guidance for the people, and clear proofs of guidance and criterion. So whoever, what did it say? So whoever cites the new moon, <laughs> tell it all they self. Whoever cites the new moon of the month, let him fast. It. And whoever is ill or on a journey, then an equal number of other days. A lot intends for you ease, and is not intended for you hardship, and wants for you to complete the period and to glorify Allah for that to which he has guided you. And perhaps you will be grateful. Surah al-Baqarah 2 185. Tell it on themselves. <laughs> Just what they do on the new boo. Uh, period stood out. <laughs> I'm telling you, Islam will get you. You will testify on yourself, huh? Either way you want to have wherever way you which way you want to turn. Which way you think you about to turn? Because Teddy is on your behind. They lie, they lie. Don't add up. The math ain't mathing. The math ain't mathing. Taking dirty offers. The math ain't mathing. Money is your God, not a law. The math ain't mathing. The math ain't mathing. My mother energy, she be on it, boy. <laughs> they think they can get her picture desecrated through all the time and make her shut up. Like, you really, but that let you know the power of imagery. You hear me? Imagery energy. Desecrate her picture so she can shut the fuck up. Like, honey, <laughs> you wish. Queen of Cups. On teamwork, three of pentacles, queen of swords, the truth. What are they trying to do with this car last year? In isolation, loneliness, withdrawal, resignation, distance, lost your way. They, they'll say that about you, about y'all. They crazy, honey, when I tell you the rooms in their brain is like the, the TV show Hoarders. You see, so you don't know, but you got to be watchful. You got to pray as well, so as watch. You got to watch as well, so as pray. 
You understand? Because they doing shit. And then they get other people to do shit because they are doing shit to possess people, do our mind control kind of shit. And they won't even know why. You see? It's bad. I know some people wish they would have worked on their discernment rather than they ass with squats and they belly with crunches. You hear me? I'm being honest. For real. Like, damn, I should have been working on my discernment in my body. Routine, hard work, productivity, routine, conservation, efficiency, responsibility. This is what y'all really are. But they was, they want y'all to be isolated. May try to get your car took so that you can be isolated. They did that to me already through mines in the pound. I was without a car, a car. It was terrible. And I knew it was them. I had to walk everywhere. I'm talking two-hour walks. Mm-hmm. I couldn't get on the bus because if you stay anywhere, they're going to send somebody to try to rape you or do something to you. Uh-huh. They all in evil versus good, bro. They say you lost your way. <laughs> they, 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 they lost their motherfucking way. You, you need to do. You lost your way. You can. You should be able to drive. Kind of shit. You need to withdraw and isolate and think about the things that you're doing. Telling the truth on them. Terrorists, devils. That's that shit. That do not need to be up in there. That's air. That's oxygen. Why would you put a stopper on there? Devils, fucking with shit. Because esoteric knowledge, uh, occult sciences, is always left to the public because it's work. You see, if they would have left Tesla alone, Tesla would have left all of that, and it would have never been an Elon Musk. But they fucked with him. You see, inventors stuff like that. They usually leave it to the state or the country, so that people can learn, like free information, real talk, so they can get device up with that. Who says they can't get divisive with that? When did the alchemical symbol become that? Did it change? Or was it always that? Who invented it? Maybe they was crazy. Or maybe they was with some people that was and added a line through it when they wasn't looking. You understand? But who the fuck would do that to cut off oxygen? Honey, please. Yeah, difficult decision, weighing options, avoidance, deadlock. They may be getting their cars repo, no cars, because they are that. Done lost their way, resigning, withdrawing, loneliness, isolation. Uh-huh, of uh, divine love, harmony. What makes you think this? This is what they was buying. And this is what they was allowing people to buy. This fake ten of cups situation. That child and family services card with the man and the woman on their own in town. Same vibe, Okay. That don't mean it's coming up on the devil. So you know the devil is a what? Oh, he a lie. So that's a lie, right? Okay, yeah, that part. Unwise decision. Herman in reverse. They tried it, they should not have. Magic. Plenty of it. Shouldn't have touched it, but they did. Shouldn't have took dirty offers, but they did. This 10K shit. Now they restricted, because they really are a danger to society. They really are, because what they touch, they got to reap that shit. So it's like, if anything, you'd be like, man, let me move away from this motherfucker. You hear me? For real. Especially those that took dirty offers, and they Muslims, that took Shahada. No matter how old you is, you shouldn't say nothing. For real. Try to change religions and shit? I don't think so. That ain't how that work. Uh-uh. Not with Islam. You should have stayed a Christian. And they're going to get it the way they get it. It's just how Islam is set up. It's mathematically sound. It'll get rid of the enemy. You know, nobody has to do it. You see what I'm saying? Nobody has to do it. It does it, it, does it itself. The math don't be mathing. Because <laughs> you said one God and what the universe is feeling from you is that you love this thing or this material more than what you said you do. <laughs> do you hear me? So they be curses on that. They be walking around, but they don't be around.
Ain't nothing you can do. Ain't like you can. They can't go nowhere and get it. Lift off of them. None of that shit. They just pretend in it. Exactly. Come back and pretend. You hear me? This, this, that means hidden information. <laughs> yeah, sacred knowledge. Play with it. Mm-hmm. Oh, people in church getting it too? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's all about how it plays out with that particular doctrine. Jesus was the one with the sword dripping with blood because it seems like they put a lot on him. Mm-hmm. Secrets galore, bro. Work with that moon. The new moon. What was written that I just read that's in Al Bakura? Mm-hmm. But I ain't never told them. It's saying what what to do during these particular times, the new moon, when you're not feeling well, then a lot ain't gonna put nothing like Ramadan on you because of those reasons. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Took it and did something else. Like they, they get out of jail free card. They would say that. You know what I'm saying? If somebody was to say, well, you're not a real Muslim because you don't practice Ramadan and you don't fast and you don't do that, they would hit you with that. You see what I'm saying? Where me, I converse with Allah. Allah, this is all crazy. I, I practice Ramadan. I practice fasting. All of that. But I be real. I be 100. I'm not about to be up here Thank you because Allah knows all about me. I'm not trying to make no excuse for it. I ain't trying to get out of it. I ain't trying to get around it. My mother told me you cannot get over God, under God, or around God. When a little girl is told that, you understand very clear. So when Allah comes to search me, he going to say, well, she ain't lying about it. And I definitely ain't sitting nowhere worshiping what I'm eating or nothing else. It's just giving up. Oh, even if I'm eating during a fast, I'm still giving honor to Allah because I realize without him, I couldn't even eat this. Without him, I wouldn't even have a throat, digestive system, or nothing else to be able to get rid of what my body didn't need as far as nutrients is concerned. I ain't never confused on who my creator is, and I ain't never confused on it only being on one worthy of worship. <laughs> but when you use it to justify, oh, you, you, that's dangerous, bro. You get now you about to be in trouble. You see? That's why I don't keep my head in the Holy Quran. Oh no, 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 uh, get out of something or the, you know, snake activity. The math don't be mathing. Most Muslims keep it safe by understanding what Christians would say. I am a filthy rag and keep it there. You would be safer as a Muslim that took Shahada to put the Quran down, to put anything, stay away from all, anything dealing with that and deal with, you know God made this son, you know God made your internal organs, you know God, so it humbles you in such a way where you say, I am a filthy rag. Humble. Just by understanding that one thing, you ain't got nothing to do with nothing. You here to work. You are here to worship one God that created all of this that you are having fun with, so to speak, or sleeping on, whatever the case may be, anything. Breathing, oxygen, trees. Rather than getting mixed up and tied up and tangled up and playing with it and all that, man, that's no reference to me. You can put it on the highest point all you want to, and you can think the highest point that it's on and the home that that highest point in is more than a law. It's more important than a law. You feel me? What they got to do with it? The Quran also speaks about um, a, a, a donkey carrying books. When Allah searched me, he would hear, I ain't touching this. The first time that it ever came out my mouth, I'm scared. 
I was in uh, just when I first took Shahada. I picked up the Quran. I would try to take it with me to work out, sit in my car and read it, be in prayer. This and that. And then I got mad with the dude I was married to. He was he took Shahada too, but I would be mad at him. I said, You ain't even for real. Cause husbands lead prayer. And I was like, I feel like you don't believe this. You fake. I would tell him this. But he didn't want to join. He didn't. So I was like, uh-uh. You feel me? Better safe than sorry. You hear me? Get the Quran. Go in it. Everything is about hellfire. Hell. I was like, oh my God. You know? Because I always had a reference for God like that anyway. In the church, so it doesn't matter. Even in the Bible, Revelation, oh, the lady, oh my God. Kind of situation. However, the Bible is way more allegorical, poetic, softer, not so harsh. The Quran, baby. You playing with that? That's me. Allah know that. If I see somebody just, if I was to see a random person out reading the Quran in a park, I would be nervous. Allah would know that. He know everything. Like, oh God, I pray that they are who they read. Like, I pray they keep it up. You see what I'm saying? No, for real. It ain't nothing to play with. You been better off just saying, uh-uh. I just want to say that I know that it ain't for one. God, I was born a Muslim if that's the case. But I ain't touching that. Okay. How you choose to look at it, it don't matter to me. As long as Allah knows. You got some women that go along, but they ain't, they fucked from the beginning. Cause they saying they only, but they really don't believe that the God is the husband. You see? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Blind lead the blind, both fall in a ditch. I don't think so. I see exactly what's going on here. And I'm not following you to do nothing. That's when prayer stopped in that household. Shit. Don't play with God. You want to keep on doing that? Be my guest. But I ain't. Hmm. Hmm. Leave me in prayer my ass. I don't think so. Okay? <laughs> That's when the conversation starts happening nonstop with God, which already was happening when I was a Christian. You think God don't know? People out slick they sell, they really do, bro. <laughs> like, uh-uh, bro. Uh-uh. 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 A personal encounter with a law God would make you not. But they still. You see? Like, what? That's that if you get me out of this. When he do, they go right back. If you get me out of this, when he do, they go right back. If you get me out of this, that's playing with God. Anytime I got in a situation, I say, God, if you get me out of this, I ain't go back to that. If you see me back to that, I'm kidnapped like a motherfucker. And somebody been following me. I'm not lying. Any... Relationship, marriage, it doesn't matter. I'm not playing with a lot with marriage. I'm not even playing with a lot giving myself to a man. No. Not when you stay in conversation day in and day out. He gonna come and check on you and see what you've been talking about to him. Run it back one time. You cannot get away. This dumbass is running forward looking back. He already screwed. And chopped. I'm not following you. And he can have a holy command in his hand. He got a fans on. I'm not following you. I see the blood on your hand and your feet. So, God damn it, it got to be on your hands, but you carrying that book to cover the blood fight. But I ain't on it. I see you. And I'm not interested. He gets in my car and get the fuck on. That's why they don't want some of y'all with a car. 
And that's why some of them more than likely don't have one. Because of that, they won't knock it off. Mm-hmm. Three of Cups. Victory. Celebration. Collaboration. Community. To me, that's futuristic. As far as children being able to play outside and do what they want to do because, you know, Allah made the grass for them to fall again. Made the flowers for them to smell. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. These people. Mm -hmm. Then they go to this, but uh, it only lasts for like 2.2 2 seconds before they back up on their bullshit. These fucking queen of wands. Jealous and insecure. That's so stupid. Higher fit energy. Yeah. It's like higher ups. Gotta make calls. They just do. You may not understand it, but it's going down, bro. For some of y'all, Queen of Pentacles energy. Yeah, they want to block. Some of y'all got an emperor. They just want to block the union. Because they know it's ordained. And they know that... You know, the support is there, the protection is there, all of that. They want you wide open. It's not, I mean, rocket science is not rocket science. Got a lot of fishy plans, you know. Some of their fate may be deaf. Mm-hmm. Since they causing it, they're trying to stop from reaping it. They, don't, they really don't want to reap this. Because they love money. And how could money let me down? I just had it. But as soon as they get it, it's gone. They hate that. You see how I had to throw that down? They'd rather be dead than that. But they may let them be that because it's worse. It depends on how the mathematics comes out on it. You know? What they reap, what they reap. They reap what they sow. What did they sow? If they sow people being broke, homeless, this and that, then that's what they shall surely reap. If they did death spells and all that, well, that's what they shall surely reap. <laughs> Shit, fuck what you want. This ain't Chappelle like this. What did you do? Well, that's what you get. What the fuck is Mothers being able to be in the emperor's energy. Children being able to be in the child's energy. Like, what? This is ridiculous. Yeah, they just get around too freely. So some of them may end up without a car. Because they got all kind of plans to shift children here, do this, do that. But it's hard for them to do it with uh, without no money. Or transportation. They did that to you, some of y'all. Let's see what y'all need to watch out for again. Same shit, different day, huh? It was, it was snow everywhere. Now it's rained on and going away and hot like it's a spring day, honey. Like, what? They're trying to kill us. Mm, here we go. Bank. Watch out, banks. Perilous realm. Yep. Place of reminiscence. Any places of reminiscence. Where you grew up at, stuff like that. You feel like going there, don't. Especially if you ain't been around there. You feel me? Don't. Laboratories. They in all groups and organizations, I see it. 
Hospitals is an organization, ain't it? Laboratories dealing with science, stuff like that. It's organization, either way. Groups, either way. Social disorder, either way. Forest, don't don't even go there. But y'all to go out and say I'm going to talk to the witches and stuff like that. Uh huh. You have to find another way. Rendezvous point, yeah. <laughs> uh. Meeting place, destiny unfolds, convergence. Trying to get you to convert. Remember I said the seven of the swords got a holy Quran in his hand, got have a Bible in his hand, but he twisted it up. The book is what's making him look like he's innocent. He's a good man. Got a situation. Just the book. Okay. Try to convert you, but yeah, be some other shit. Meeting place. Uh-uh. Be careful with the Jehovah Witness. Uh-uh. I said groups. I said organizations. I've been told them to get the fuck off the street. They still out here. That's a sign. That's it. Hey, listen. Who is them people? Kingdom Hall Duke goers? Who is them people? Sometimes you be like, come on. Did God really tell you to be out here? You feel me? Some shaky. Uh-uh. These perilous ass times. God is in control. What can you say? Convert? What? I told people in the nation, time to bring it in. Honey baby. Beauty salon. Man, desert, bro. Ain't nothing but them outside, them reptilians. Beauty salons, be careful. Especially if you're secluded. You know, you got your own parking lot kind of situation. It's only your salon. Be careful. Cabins, be careful. In the forest. Where it's wooded areas, be careful. They're trying to go Jason Voorhees. Camp Crystal Lake. Museums. Yeah, the same things keep coming out, y'all. This is a lot of cards. It's like 78 in this deck. Mm-hmm. The place Oracle is a 78 card Oracle deck. <laughs> Jail. <laughs> somebody say, come up to my cabin. Somebody going to jail. That's funny as hell. Beauty salon. Keep on. What? This forest. I'm telling y'all, don't start that shit. Get your ass at home and just get a dance around some motherfucking plants in your house. Your backyard. There you go again. Places of reminiscence. I think I'm going to go get my hair done. And, and not saying that that's a long got anything to do with it, but you may be there on that day and they know you coming. You feel me? Because you got money now. They notice a 10K after. Like, what? After 27 years, y'all? Come on. And you you might as well say after 24 years. That means they watched me for three. Because I left three years after that increase. Here we go again. Trying to take art off the wall. Be careful. See? That's that shit. I put a line through fire. If you got an alchemical sand that's fire and it's going up with no line through it, then what the fuck? That's that shit. So that just means they doing shit with the alchemical symbols to make it, you know, had enough common sense to know that shit. Cause I swear I looked at that like, what the hell? 
You know, I'm, I use it for singular things. You feel me? Not for, it's not connected and tied to the entire world. Like, duh. I damn sure wouldn't put a fire alchemical symbol with no line through it on a candle that was dealing with trees. You see what I'm saying? What the fuck you think gonna happen? If you got a concentrated effort on that to do that to the forest. You see what I'm saying? Don't ever lack with somebody. Don't ever, not, not lack, but don't ever underestimate. Oh, they couldn't do that. They live here. They, all right, well. Just because a motherfucker ain't never been to the Amazon rainforest don't mean they can't burn that motherfucker down. With intended purpose, because they hate the government and this and that. And coming up with all this old weird shit in their head space. So watch where it can burn at. Blazing sun, air desert, searing heat, searing heat, parched earth. That would mean it's unnatural if it happens. Especially during certain seasons. Come on. When it don't make no sense, God ain't in it. The sky. Watching these airplanes. Infinite universe cloud formations. Oh, okay. What they trying to put something in the air? chemtrails, you know, but they'll say it's something negative or something, and then it'll be them doing something to something that was supposed to be positive for farming. Perilous realm, <laughs> danger lurks, treacherous paths on every corner, ominous shadows. Okay. <laughs> Everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> we in a perilous realm. Man, that is a beautiful description. Even though it's fucked up. But baby, body's right in exactly as it get, honey. Ooh, here we go again. Government buildings. Is that child and family services? Desert. Ain't nothing ran how it's supposed to. Uh-uh, uh-uh. And you talking about the one nation under God. Where God at in any of these lies being told with these snake motherfuckers? Huh. You kidding me? Cinema again, y'all. Mm. It's coming again. That's right. The topic, y'all. It's then we keep coming up. Financial centers come up all the time, don't it? Tell the truth, bro. The sea, under the sea, under the sea. I'm telling y'all, be careful. They found a, 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 I said, I said it, I said it. They said the Lake Erie water started um, going lower on the Ohio end of the Great Lakes. <laughs> like, the Ohio end of the Great Lakes started losing water. The Ohio... <laughs> it was a fucking ship up under it, capsized. I'm pretty sure they found sharks had already handled the business. Some handled the business. You hear me? Be careful. Google it, it just happened. Jail. <laughs> this is the only place they can go. Be careful, home. Don't you get too comfortable. Familiarity, security, belonging, personal space. So y'all, security at the places that y'all live at may be compromised. Whether it's the security there Whatever the case may be. One thing I did notice is where I used to live at, um, they used to have, you used to have to get your ID checked in order to visit. Once they stopped, shit started declining. But they caught it and got back in the booth and started asking for ID again. And I know that because the people that were doing stuff to me told me, I ain't never had to show an ID to get in here. I was like, ooh, they back doing that? Good. They didn't like that, though. So, this is just a heads up. If you own something, if you're watching this, I don't know who watches this. You may own an apartment complex or whatever, and you may have gotten away from being asking people to show you ID in order to see who they want to see. Get back to it, bro. 
Get back to ID. Asking for ID in taverns. Don't just get a drink. You got ID? Because now it ain't about age. It's about identifying who this motherfucker is. You ain't got no ID, no drink. And let me say this. Even though it's expired, still let them get the drink. Now you watch. Don't turn them away because it's expired. No. Amusement park. Keep coming up. <laughs> yeah, it's America. Fushka. Fusfa. Zis. What is that? Fusfa. FASFA. Watch FASFA, honey. Is that financial aid? That's what I seen in here. FASFA. Honey, watch that FASFA, honey. Fusfa. Skiki. Fusfa. Skiki. Sounds Russian. <laughs> restaurants. Here we go. Here we go. Home is your restaurant. Eat that burger at home. I don't want that bread. We're going to get you some bones. Arena. Competitive environment, sporting events, performance. This came up again, didn't it? Watch them arenas. Competitive sports, sporting events, performance stage, where you may, you know, do your concerts at. That's an arena, ain't it? That's what they say, performance stage. They said it was going to be, uh, my answer to tell me they're going to be attacking single women with no babies. Nothing. Because you got free range of motion. You can go to the restaurant, you can go to the movies, you know, you kind of buy yourself all the time. So you would think, okay, I'm straight because all I got to worry about is me. But now you gotta worry about motherfuckers that know that. The best thing to do, if you're a food critic to go to restaurants, post in, uh, post weird. Post where, you know, you may be there on Monday, but don't post it to Thursday. If you're somewhere on Thursday, don't post it to, you see? So if you post it, post it like you're there right now. They'll show up, but you won't be there. And just keep doing that. Within the vehicle, yeah. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Commuting while commuting. Road journeys. So road trips and commuting, watch yourself. Windows, frame views, glass portal, window seal. You know what flat through windows, bullets. I heard it ain't safe, it ain't safe, it ain't safe, it ain't safe. Here we go again with this field session. Window fell before too, so be careful. Because they will shoot you. With that click plaque, go click plaque. I need a gun do too, baby. If they get desperate enough. Because it's going to bust some open if you got a case somewhere. If you got something open. And it's attached to these gang stalking motherfuckers. They may... Get, you know, don't give a fuck. Do that just for it to open the case. Oh, they all over it. Finding ways to get out. Yep. The sky. Yeah. But that ain't where they going, though. They think so, but they ain't. No. You cannot leave everybody around you in misery and think you can just blow your head off or blow somebody else's head off and go to heaven. That ain't how it works. It really don't. If it was that easy, come on. It'll be way worse than it is now. The window, the sky. I don't tell me they're going to start shooting in plain windows. That would be kind of crazy. Is it impossible? I don't know. I don't think that is, though. You feel me? Like, divisive as fuck. Like, can you shoot through a plain window? That's what I'm picking up. That means that they would have to have some other... Yeah, watch airspace. That means they would have to have some type of aircraft in order to do that. You see what I'm saying? Like drive-by shootings in the air. What the fuck? <laughs> Airplane by shootings. <laughs> drive-by shootings? What do you mean fly-by shootings? 
It's fly by shooting, dog. I mean, hell, if the government, if the if the, if the army and shit can do it, but I'm feeling personal. Like I keep getting a flash to somebody's uh, plane window, sit by the window seat. Can I get a window seat? <laughs> and then a uh, bullet literally coming through with a little shade. I think I was talking about that. The old school commercials. I don't want a movie. Just close the shade. I don't want a movie. I know you lying. Oh my God. That is so crazy. Hospital. Roof came up too. So watch y'all roof. They may be doing something to try to cave y'all roof. Because they can do that too. You know. They be trying to be like God. But they ain't God. They ain't even the ancestors. They be doing stuff to try to get your attention. For God. You feel me? Workers nonetheless. If you know a worker that's good and for God. Forget the title. Sometimes a person can be an inactive Christian because they were just raised in Christianity and they don't know nothing else. They didn't explore outside of that. But one thing they know for sure that it's only one God and Jesus is not it. That's how I was. I was born and raised in the church. In the church of my mother's womb came out. Church, 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 church. And no matter how much church I went to, I knew without a shadow of a doubt that it was only one God and Jesus was not it. So don't be so quick to discredit people. We're ancestors for that matter. Because who works for God works for God. Muslims tend to think everybody is evil. That's the safest place to go, though. You know, we like, uh uh uh, God, uh uh, Allah, 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 Allah. I don't know nothing about no ancestors. I don't know nothing about this. I don't know nothing about that. You see what I'm saying? They don't even acknowledge prophets and angels, but acknowledgement as far as it goes, because they ain't about to get caught up in putting a God beside God, and that is the safest place to roll. But what I would say is, not even but, however, what I would say is, you don't want to get in a state where you can't talk to nobody. Allah created us in different sects and tribes so we get to know one another, but as long as they understand that God is God and there's no God besides God, then you won't be paranoid or thinking that you off kilter by even talking to that person because a lot of Muslims are like that when they devout Muslims. Like, I ain't about to get in trouble for just talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Kind of situation for real. And that's the safest place to be in this type of perilous realm, honestly. However, you don't want to miss something because you're looking at that person like they're evil and they could be sent by Allah. Good is good. Evil is evil. I do not care. If a motherfucker do all kind of evil deeds all the time, that person is evil. If a person does good deeds all the time, no evil. Evil be done to them for the good deeds that they do. That's a good person. Lake. <laughs> oh, man. Stay away from them lakes. People going to do it anyway, but who cares? I mean, I can just tell you. Trains, subways, railways. Some people will go out there to say, I ain't scared. However, come on now. We do need workers. We get it. You're a rebel, but go sit down. Americans, <laughs> birthplace of dreams, <laughs> rebels. Because <laughs> sometimes you can't get in God's way, you know? Because if something happens to you, that's more work. There's more things that have to be figured out. When you respect his reverence and his power is by sitting still. Especially if you get the word, that, okay, stay away from them lakes, all right. You know, white people real bad. They got it bad. They be like, I'm not staring away from me. It's like, this was God's country. And miss that whole shit. <laughs> Be still and know. Same God. Okay. Laboratories. Here we go. Scientific research. Experiments and analysis. This is where this is going on. Be careful wherever y'all at with that shit. Innovation and inventions. Innovations and inventions. If you got any inventions, if you got anything innovative, a spinoff of an invention. 
if you're experimental, anywhere where they do some type of anal analysis or experiments, any scientific research, you know, be careful because they will try to fuck you up because you're doing it unorthodox, especially if you're doing it unorthodox. People have been talking about it. People coming up missing and stuff like that, but they would put it, the conspiracy theorists would put it on the government. No. There are dark forces in every organization. Isn't the government an organization? Only a fool would think everybody in there is righteous and upright. So if you got something like I came up with, science candle, candle science, oh, isn't that? Ain't hey, Bimmo went to school because school is not my thing. They have a predisposition for wanting to hurt you when you don't want to do it the robot way. That's when they really messing with a law. The wrong way. You see? If every person has a different set of DNA within their genetic coding, no matter if they get the same mother or father, then that means you are like a snowflake, specially designed for a special purpose and a special reason. People lost their way, and they want to say it's God that didn't give them a special purpose and a special reason, but they're doing what they do, and they didn't have to do it on the evil side. So it's bullshit that they talking. They chose to spit in God's face. Everybody ain't cut for everything, and you can't make them. That's when you really become an enemy of God. Forget the enemy of the state. I purpose them for this. What are you talking about? Come to your school. What is the school stuff? They don't need that. They have me. If they needed that, then I would tell them to go here to get this that I need them to do for that. And how do I know? Because the God within them told them that this is something that they were to do. But school don't really fit right. So they're doing what they feel is right, which is the God in them. Listening to their gut, their inner voice, their instincts. What feels good, what's fulfilling, what feels right. Easy yokes, not burdensome ass yokes. Zoo, there you go again. <laughs> Is a zoo outside in America? Yeah, you're going to go into a zoo, an amusement park, that's fine. And uh, watch your babies at the zoo. Watch yourself at the zoo. Parking lots in the cold, yeah. Parking lots. Oh, I'm going to talk about that. Something that you could do. Y'all ever see people jumping them um, tubs of, of cold ice, like the athletes and stuff? You see some motivational speakers do it too. Jumping a bucket of cold ice. Oof, oof. If you got a snow region or where it's cold, baby, go barefoot, put your feet in the snow. You get the same effect if you ain't got that money on it. You know what I'm talking about? Well, let me tell you something. I went outside, the snow was all on my pants, this and that. And that hadn't happened to me in a long time. I don't know why. Maybe because they tamper with the weather so much and I stay in. I try to just respect God, not them. Honey, baby, got in here, honey. I was like, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> I felt like I was in one of them things, y'all. I was like, oh my God, people can really do that to like wake up. If you need, if you feel like you groggy, you know, you sleeping a little bit, do that. I'm talking, wake your ass up. Fuck around and break a spell off your ass. I ain't joking. I ain't joking. See it for exactly what it is. Out that slumber, that, that lethargic, that's like you feeling heavy kind of shit. Go put your bare feet in some snow or on some cold concrete. And baby, you're going to be like, woo! Things going to be clear, I'm telling you. You can't afford that other stuff. You got to do what you got to do. Here we go again. The same thing. I'm going to see if they pop. The concert came up, but they're the same as an arena, right? Crossroads, crosswalks, scorching lands again. Mountain. That came up. Watch the mountains. I don't know what's going on with these mountains. Nature's grandeurs. 
Could be something like this. They'll try to go shoot like they shot at the pyramids. And then people will be over here for 500 years trying to figure out why they had did that to the white man. Kind of shit. So be careful. Places of grandeur, nature's grandeur, elevation and perspective. You know, you may want to feel like you want to go higher up or something. Be careful and be careful of things like that. Mount Rushmore, stuff like that. Trying to destroy it. Just, you know. Desecration. Rest and relaxation. Se seating comfort. Pause and ponder. Not a reality right now. Keep coming up. The same thing. So people keep doing what <laughs> they're not, they shouldn't do. If something happens, I mean. Here we go. Coffee house. What did I name? City of Compton? Good old Watts? California. Parks came up before. Bustling hubs. And rainy, rainy realms. Lighthouse keeps falling. So guiding light, symbol of hope. Watchful Centennial. To me, that's like Jehovah Witness. Watchtowers. Be careful. Some people can say they is and ain't. Some people could have been, but crazy. I said organizations. Bustling hub where there's lots of people. Picnic retreat, recreational spaces, nature's havens, parks. Farm coming up again and roof. Yeah, it's a difference. Windswept region. They'll try to do that. They will. Breezy gusts, whirling winds, area expansion. Expand, excuse me, dancing leaves. They'll use all your energy to, to bottom you out. Hit your roof. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To, to push you out. So that's how they... Oh, 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 okay. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> sure, remember what I said? It's not as easy to get out people that hold a mortgage. As it is to just make a mass exodus in an apartment, well, now they'll do all your energy to cave your roof to push you out. I said, when it's limited amounts of deaths, that's witches and warlocks that can do that. When it's lots of deaths, looks like I'm talking a whole. Uh, oh, you see? And man knows. Don't discredit your unction. This is God. A witch to say that? And they so wicked, they'll try to move when God is moving. Say, get, go, send some to it. Oh, yeah, they something else, honey. Ignorance, rude, haters of God. Beauty salon, barber shops, any relaxing spas. So that's masseuses too. Grooming to me is barbers. Any place where styling, makeup, it says makeup artistry. Lash girls, you in the beauty industry, ain't you? Countryside, rural beauty, peaceful retreat, simple living. Yeah, attack that, you know? For real. On to the next one. That's what I heard. Mm-hmm. Mess up beautiful things. Garden. You say, who got in my car? This must, this, dee, 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 dee. Don't be so quick to blame my animal. Don't be so quick to think they just stole your food and they did this and they did that. Could be an animal, a savage in human form. Especially if it's pretty. Mm -hmm. Even if they take one and shit start falling apart, it's them. They can take one flower out your yard 
And if they put it in where they at, and if the energy is bad, it'll make your whole goddamn yard turn brown. Yes. Living room, windows, drive-by shootings. Now airplane shootings. Concert, again. We got shopping mall, two. Come up again, farmers, farms, two. I don't know, some with that food, some with a roof, some with the windswept, again. So everything may not be as natural as you're looking at. It may have been intended to hit your house that particular way. Don't say it's far-fetched, look into it. They do all kind of shit. Casinos. Lighthouse again, Jehovah Witness. Watch yourself. <laughs> Somebody grass went down trying to figure out. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Crossroads. Mm -hmm. Watch them crossroads and them crosswalks. Multiple paths, turning point, divergent roads. Watch it. When trains coming and you got to stop, you may want to turn around. I mean, I want to wait in that line. You feel me? Like, oh, time to go. Cemetery. Yeah, for real. You against them, basically. Watch around cemeteries. You know, sometimes cemeteries is near crossroads. Or with, where it's like a um off 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 brand street, kinda like a, a way you know to go that nobody a whole bunch of people wouldn't know to go. Them, them divergent roads. That way you know to go that one about it. They know. You feel me? And sometimes cemeteries do sit on them type of roads. Airports. Here we go. Street, hotel, luxury, boutique fell already. That. One more and then I'm going to get out of here. Museum, artifacts, and stuff like that. I told y'all they was doing. Hey, listen. Interactive displays, museum collections. To me, I heard if you're an artist and... Your gut been telling you that you need to get your shit out of a certain place? Go get it. Go get it. Because it, it would... Let me tell you something. If you got artwork that's been sitting in a certain place on exhibit, and nobody's bought it, and it could be bought, or it's just sitting for people to look at, and you're not getting any prospects from there, and it's kind of eating at you, you need to go and get your shit. Especially if you know that you're a person that has valuable artwork and you know you're going somewhere and you've been working and this is your life purpose and you could be known for this. Y'all know how it go. The Basquiat's out here. Hello? Go get your shit. Because they keep coming up. Museums and, and arts places. Art museums and museums. Artifacts. Inter interactive displays. Museum collections. Connecting pathways, overcoming divides. That's what they don't want to happen. They divide and conquer. So if it's people in your family that ain't did shit, love you, I love you, I would never do that. Honey, they, you, did, honey, what? You see that divide? Ain't nothing shaking. You can't even see the rest of the road. You see that divide? That this is it's more over there, but where was this chunk missing? This a divide. You feel me? That's them. They don't want you to overcome the divine, to connect. No. Uh-uh. And they within your family, communities, it doesn't matter. They all work together. They evil. Courts. Honey, stay out of them. Stay out of them. If they try to get you, little baby, coming in at CFS, you better run. I ain't lying.
kick them in the balls, punch them in the face, bite their titty, do whatever you gotta do. Just get the fuck out of there. Do something off wall that they wouldn't expect, like biting their titty. If you feel like this person is so strong, you got teeth, God gave you them them uh, canine teeth for a reason. Oh! And by the chunk out that motherfucker, they gonna drop you and you gonna run. Bathroom. Pristine cleanliness, water, and renewal. What? What is that about? They be fucking with y'all pipes or something. They be up to no good. Nonetheless. And some of these weirdos, if y'all are surveillance in them, FBI and CIA, if they stay in the bathroom for long ass periods of time, honey, something ain't right. If it breaks up connections, something definitely ain't right. Like, why the fuck are they still in there? Damn, did we just get this? And I said I wasn't doing that no more. But it keep on coming up, y'all. The same things. Places of reminiscence, scorching lands, crossroads, schools, crosswalks, same shit. Lighthouse, it's still Jehovah Witness Watch Towers, church, casinos, elevators again, them ships, that R&B shit. Swimming pools came up. Banks came up immediately. Rendezvous point trying to convert people. Nightclubs came out. So be careful. And ask for ID. And if it's expired, still let them in or do whatever. Give them their drink. But watch them if you feel something fishy. But don't just be giving out no drinks without no ID. That's how you don't know who doing what. And you as the barmaid to get it pinned on you because you the original person that gave them the drink. This snake I got over here, and you know, just the archetype of one just moved. So, this is a lot over here in my world. All right, y'all. If you feel the vibe, you know what to do. Don't share, though, because I don't know that. Love and life.